Hey YouTubers, it's Chris from Canopy Crypto and AI. Today I am testing GPT-40 or the Omni. And as usual, GPT continues to blow my mind. OpenAI is definitely at the leading edge of artificial intelligence and human interactions. So just wanted to show you some tests that I've done and they're all pretty impressive. Um, so how is this different? Well, there's a lot of audio and video and text interaction now. It's sort of all wrapped into one like a human rather than being able to type questions into ChatGPT4, you get straightforward text answers. But now you can upload video or images and have the AI interpret what those images or videos are. Pretty wild. We've tried this at home, taking a picture out, out the window and trying to tell it to guess where we are geographically. And it was pretty darn close. It might not tell you the you know exact city or GPS coordinates, but it will get very close. And it got our our province in Canada and even the the mountain range nearby and a river system. So pretty mind blowing. Um, and yeah, so I had to type in a few things to try and just basic image recognition. You know, what kind of cat is this? And this is kind of an easy one. Just started it off easy and it pretty much got the, the short haired tabby thing bang on. So that's, you know, that's that. We also were playing uh, my son and I were playing chess and we took a picture of the board and we asked what's the next move and it could actually look at the chess board in 3D, just a photo, and uh, tell me what, what move I should do next. I tested it on uh, this, this defense um, setup in chess here, it's called the Sicilian, and it identified it right away, no problem. Um, this was an easy one. But it wasn't a digital photo, right? It's an actual uh, real, real photo. Um, it wasn't an animated or, a, you know, it's illustrated. It was, it was just any random photo out of your phone will do. So this is pretty wild. Also, yeah, geographically, you know, this was a bit of an easy one. Just found a random picture of a mountain, had no idea where it was, and it geolocates it, knows exactly where it was. But there's no tags or anything that I gave it. So it, it knows where things are. It has got it's got a world perspective, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Then I took this local house, and this is just a random local house shot um, of my area. And it does some deductions and it uses induction, but also deduction um, and finds nearby landmarks. So it had a bit more difficulty with this, um, but it did, you know, observe it was in a rural or mountainous region and it asked for a few more details. So um, it didn't identify it in Canada or anything like that. So that that's, you know, that's un understandable. Logic. Um, some previous versions of GPT did not do logic very well. And so here's, you know, Dave currently has 12 apples. He ate three. How many does he have? In the past, GPT-3 would fail on this. And now GPT-4 has basically got it figured out. He, they, it understands the relationship between people, ownership, objects, numbers. Whereas before, it would just give you a you'd have to give it a math problem and it would solve it or you would ask it, um, you know, a, a naming problem and it would, it would identify someone's name. So that's different. Um, tried a random again, river and, uh, it pretty much nailed this one as the Kootenai river in BC, Canada. So again, mind blowing stuff. Um, it's really, you know, I've also tried on my phone. I highly recommend the phone app because it does have increased speeds. It will talk to you like a, a real human. And there's almost no delay when you are asking it random stuff on your phone and trying to interact with it. And so there's lots of demos online. But, um, you know, I would ask it to, you know, sing a rap song about cool dads and it would do that. And it would actually be really good 
it would respond like it's in the room with you and um that's impressive so yeah check it out and um let me know in the comments what you have done testing wise and uh i'd love to hear how you're testing chat gpt for omni thanks for watching like and subscribe i much appreciate it